attempt to try to make a BJD wig. So let's go. These are the materials. I am using the Goodies Ouchless Rubber Bounds to tie off the ends of this wool, which I got uh, off of an Etsy shop. I believe that it's pre-washed, but if it ain't, I'm using it this way. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. Um, also using the Rit dye, the pearl gray and rose quartz, because I'm trying to make like this ash pink, silvery pink type of color. So <laughs> comb to comb out the wool. A spoon, oops, here it is. Spoon to swirl it around town, the wool in here. Ooh, that look like a mess. Um, but these are my first few attempts to try to make this ash pink color so uh, as you can see this is what happens when you don't tie up the ends so i learned my lesson just use tap water and just use those dyes and I, I didn't measure the dye out i just basically just kept pouring like a teaspoon into here not a spoonful because i just gradually uh used uh, tried to make the color i'm probably doing this all wrong it's a guessing game and we'll see to the end at the results Woo, woo, wish me luck, Oh, This is my boy, his name is Lucius, and <laughs> he is a Doll Family H Anglier, I think that's how you say it, and he's on a Doll Legend uh, 70 centimeter body. I've just watched multiple videos on youtube on how to kind of like do this so you probably see the same process i'm just using like really cheap brushes i got this like maybe two three dollars at walmart speaking of walmart this walmart bag to cover his body i gotta protect my boy i'm gonna use this zip box bag <laughs> i don't want to suffocate him but this is all i have this is good enough. Oh, I hate that I'm doing that to his face. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I gotta wait and put the fabric on first. I'm dumb. Yeah, don't do not do what I do. Um, I'm using a ribbed knit fabric, stretchy, four-way stretch. I got this ribbed knit fabric at Hobby Lobby for one yard. It was $7.99. So it gave you quite a lot. So you could do a lot of these if you mess up, you know, which I probably will. Um, just pulling it down to try not to make any bubbles. Ooh. I'll use this LA hair tie because I don't, I don't really know how they did it. <laughs> this and then like this. Ooh. Can you please stay? I don't have rubber bands. I'm using Elmer's glue. Swishy, swishy. Mod Podge. So what I kind of did to make the process a bit faster was just use a hair dryer. Um, I'm using the <laughs> Diva dryer. Um, but I put it in the cold instead of hot because I don't know. I think the hot will melt the glue, but. Uh, four to five layers of this. I just wanted to show you quickly kind of like how the hair is looking like. It's very like a very muted pink. I kind of drew a hairline. Lucius, you're mad at me because <laughs> I don't think I did this right. So wet, so I messed this up already. It's fine. I'm just gonna put it back on him. <laughs> I had to good this thing four more times, and it's been two days. Two days since I kind of ripped this part. So hopefully, it feels like it's firm now. Um, so now I'm gonna try to outline the hairline with this prismacolor in Tuscan red. <laughs> oh, it looks so bad. this thing. I'm scared. 
Ooh, I think I, I glued it. <laughs> I glued it, I glued it to the wig cap. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Oh, fudge cakes. Hi, pretty boy. My handsome boy. So, the wig cap is pretty hard now. So, the truth is inside of here. Ooh, yes, it's not wet no more. It finally is dry. All right, time to cut out this bad hairline. I had to do eight uh, coats. Well, technically nine because I did use Elmer's glue for the first base. I guess it's my fault though because I didn't let it dry the best, I guess you could say, but I thought I did, you know, I used the, air, the hair dryer and everything, but the second time I did it, I didn't use the blow dryer because I had to wait for the inside part because the only thing the hair dryer did was just dry the outside part so lesson learned you gotta you gotta really freaking take your time and not take the easy way out like I wanted to moment of truth <laughs> This is the best that I can do because I tried cutting it off camera, but you see all this gapping there and try to do a little little speak. He might have a big forehead, but you know what? I don't care. It looks like that helmet from X-Men. <laughs> it is what it is. Lucius, you gotta deal with it. Okay, so all I did was just grab some of these little wefts and then just uh, painted on some Elmer's glue on there. Time to glue this on. Here it goes. Oops. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Because, like, you're kind of bringing the character to life, you know? You know what, maybe I should have planned this, like to see exactly where to glue it. But I'm not a planner, I'm a I'm more of a, let's experiment. Just glue it anywhere, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. but it's just so difficult. As you can see, the wig cap is very loose. So it's obviously gonna look not great. We'll see what the end result looks like. It's just hard to film while I'm gluing because I constantly am changing my mind and I have to keep uh, making more webs. So it, it is a very, very long, tedious process. 